Good morning, it is Sunday and I'm just back from taking you into work. It's currently seven o'clock. Um, feels nice because it's lighter because obviously we've had the clocks change. Um, apart from being tired, I've been fine when I've been away. I've got back and I have got the most awful sore throat. I'm starting to think this house is cursed. <laughs> I don't know. I've got a really bad sore throat, so I'm not happy. But it's one of those things. We're just going to get on. Eddie's got man flu. But he's got a really bad head cold, so I'm going to blame him. Because obviously he was lying next to me breathing on me all night, so I'm blaming him for it. <laughs> Poor old Eddie. I haven't been very sympathetic because I still had to do everything when I was poorly. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to be nice, but find it very difficult. I just got in and I've still got my coat on. Obviously, I haven't got any makeup on. I'm not ready for the day, really, because I just literally got up and rolled out of bed, washed and brushed my teeth and took in. But I'm going to make a cup of tea. I'm not going to have coffee just yet. I'm going to have a cup of tea. And I'm going to sit and catch up on some YouTube because I haven't watched any, really, while I've been away. I've watched a couple of videos on Chloe's MacBook, which was sort of her choice. Well, not just her choice. It was our choice, but... They're not all the usual people that I watch, so I'm going to sit and watch a bit of YouTube and catch up on that. And I shall catch you. I don't think I'll be doing anything interesting today. With Eddie being down with Manflu, I can't see him really going out and doing anything. So I'm not sure what the day will bring. I've got to edit my video as well whilst I'm at it. I'll have to go shopping and get something for dinner. Oh, I have actually got shopped a pie for dinner. I didn't have it last night. I realised I forgot to record my food last night. So I had a Korean chicken burger and fries. Didn't eat the fries. Didn't like the fries. I mean, they were fine. I'm just not a huge fry fan, so I didn't eat those. I ate my burger. Wasn't over fussed on it. And I regretted picking a takeaway. I think in my mind when I said takeaway, I didn't expect to be ordering from this particular place, but you and chose it. I wish I'd just gone for something else, but anyway, never mind. It is what it is. So I have got eggs in. I've got, I've got eggs, I've got bacon. So I have got stuff for breakfast, I think. Oh, I've got croissants. I've still got all those croissants I bought in Costco. I thought they'd have been gone by now, but there's still five of those left. They definitely need eating, so I probably will have croissants today. <coughs> right, I'm going to finish making my tea. I'm going to start my day, and I shall catch you in a bit. I don't think I showed you this yesterday. So the first thing was this. And we did actually try them last night. And they are festive Eccles cakes with mince pie filling. They are delicious. I hate to think of the calories. What are the calories? Per 100 grams, 362 calories. I don't know how much each one weighs. Well, the 300 in the packet is four, so it's less than 100 calories. I'm not as bad as I thought. <laughs> It'd probably be about 300 calories. <laughs> but yeah, they are delicious. I bought them to put into our Christmas box and then thought, decided that... We're just going to have one last night. So we can, Eddie and I have one and they are really, really nice. If you if you like Eccles cakes, they're beautiful. And then I bought these for Luna. So this one is a selection box. It says natural selection box, which sounds wrong, doesn't it? Like natural selection is something completely different. But basically this is um, a little selection box for Luna. I don't know if it tells you what's in it. Duck, carrot stars. What else have we got? Chicken and carrot gingerbread men. Chicken and carrot reindeers, chicken and carrot sticks, lots of chicken and carrots. I think she'll enjoy that. That's a bit of a selection box. And then I also bought her this. This is just a charcuterie deli board featuring turkey jerky, beef sausages, chicken wrapped cheese sticks and chicken wrapped apple with a hint of cinnamon. <laughs> so I think she's going to enjoy them too. And she's already got her advent calendar, so that's pretty much her sorted. I might get her a little squeaky toy of some kind, like her, she likes the soft toys with squeaking. So I might get that, but that's that. And like I said yesterday, there's quite a lot of stuff I bought that I can't show you. There is some stuff I can show you though. I did go into the body shop outlet 
and they had makeup on four for 20 so i had two items and chloe had two items so i bought they didn't have the i normally have their bbcc cream which is like a tinted uh, moisturizer instead of a foundation just for my everyday wear when i'm not going out out and last time <coughs> they, they did stop making it they stopped making all the makeup and i was gutted and my mum managed to get some on amazon so i have had some but that's nearly gone now as well so i am um i found one that was in there yesterday that's not the same but it's like a well i'll have to show it you in a bit so anyway i hope i've got a color that matches my skin and then what else did i buy oh i got like a tint thing that you can use on your lips your cheeks or your eyes it's like a just a tint so i'll have to give that a go i also bought myself uh, an eyeshadow palette from the beauty outlet that was three pounds i think i told you about that yesterday but i haven't showed it you yet so i have got a few little things and i think i bought myself i bought myself some earrings as well from the fat face outlet so i did actually treat myself to a few things yesterday so which is unusual for me but i saw these things and thought Do you know what i like them i can hint as much as i like no one ever gets me stuff like it for my birthday so i may as well just buy it Right, I'm going to fill up Luna's bowls. She's not down here. She went out to the loo at 6 o'clock this morning. Fill her bowls up and then I'm going to put YouTube on and I'm going to edit my video, I think. I've also, I want to catch up on my crochet because I'm well behind. I've got two weeks worth to catch up on before Tuesday if I want to stay ahead of the game. I'm not bothered about staying ahead of the game, but I would like to catch up a little bit. So I'm going to sit and do that, I think, this morning. And I'll show you, I need to show you my progress actually on my blanket because I haven't showed you for ages where I am with it. God, I'm so out of breath still. I'm still taking the iron tablets, <laughs> promise. Anyway, I shall catch you in a bit. I've just had a croissant for my breakfast. In fact, I had two croissants for breakfast. I had one with cheese and sapoca pork loin in that I shared with Luna and I had another one just plain. And I forgot to record it. I do apologise. I am sitting doing my crochet. So I've done my second middle, the first one I did before I went away. I've got to put ribbon on this one and then I've got to put borders, borders on both of them. I think I've got another, I wonder if I've got another of these to do, another four of these to do and the borders. And then I'll be on to last week's pattern. So I'm really, really behind, but I'm going to catch, I'm actually really enjoying doing the bobbles now that I'm not ill. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to carry on and do these. I've been watching my knitting podcasters. I really need to go and do something with my hair because I look a bit of a state, but it's sunday i'm not going anywhere so it doesn't really matter i think luna might have gone downstairs even though i've just been down there making a cup of tea eddie's still not very well he's full of cold so yeah it's still doing the rounds in our house chloe's coming over today to pick her car up because she left it here ethan picked up last night she left her car here so she could come over fresh to pick it up and um Ewan's at work already. Tom is coming back from Leeds today, so we're all over the place. I'm going to go and let Luna out, actually. So I'll talk to you whilst I'm doing it. Oh, and I shall take my plate downstairs. Right. So, yeah, that's... Um, it's going to be a not very active day, I think, today. So I've had some vlogs with lots of interesting stuff in. Today's might be a bit boring. <laughs> But I hopefully I'll have my crochet to show you later. I know you're not all interested in that, but it's just something different. It is lovely outside today, so I'm hopefully going to go for a nice walk at some point. I'll show you outside. I'm a little worried about the roof of my shed because it looks like that felt is lifting slightly. But look, we have blue skies. It's chilly. Come on, Melina. We've had to put loads of stuff around to keep this thing when we had all the high winds last week so we've got like ballast on top of it or like pebble sand and we've got a bin all kind of weighing down that cover does tie onto the chairs but it was like going up like a balloon so we've just weighed it all down but yeah beautiful day my watch says it's nine degrees but it certainly doesn't feel like nine degrees it feels quite chilly and my glasses have gone dark because i've had been at the back door ridiculous come on then Come on, in you come. She had a really good set on night, actually. Come on, then. I don't know if it's because I was home and she felt a bit more settled. She did spend a lot of time under the sofa, or behind the sofa, not under the sofa, behind the sofa last night, because there was a fair few fireworks going off near me, which is just ridiculous. It's not anywhere near bonfire night, but we had lots of fireworks going off. 
So imagine the next couple of weeks will be like that. Anyway, I'm going to go and get on with my crochet and watch my knitting podcast and I shall catch you in a bit. So Chloe's here, come to pick up her vehicle. Uh, sorry, my dad's what my dad used to call it. It's, a, it's obviously her car. And we are trying the pistachio cookie that we bought on the Friday, Friday. Mm. which we still hadn't tried. So we've just stuck it in the microwave and it comes out really gooey. It's like stuffed in the middle. With that like pistachio cream Yeah, stuff. and it had some on the top and it had like a pistachio lint ball. And um, I'll get Chloe's reaction. It's really nice. Mm. Nice. Mm. <laughs> I don't normally do like the pistachio. Yeah. It's like trending at the moment. Yeah. But it was really, really nice. Like, stupidly nice. Right, I'm going to try it as well. I don't really like eating on camera very much, but I'll give it a quick go. Getting me all ready for Vlogmas again. Yeah, mm. <laughs> mm. That's really good. What I like about it is although the cookie is white chocolate with the pistachio, it's not overly sweet. Mm. Is it? I don't know if that's like the pistachio. I don't know, it's not overly sweet, it's not like sickly. It might be if I had the whole thing. Mm. It's definitely more ish, isn't it? Mm. So nice. So this was from Little Cake Company. If Little I get a chance, company. Little Cupcake Company. I'll put their Instagram on screen. They tend to do markets around the Lincoln area. So if ever you're up that end. But I think they do actually post out, actually. I feel they might do. But I'll put their details on, so if you're interested, have a look. So yeah, I thought I'd better record something since I have, didn't record my breakfast. I'm just sitting playing catch up on my blanket, so I'll be able to show you that later. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. Here's dinner, well lunch. This is the chef's pie that he made yesterday. I can't tell you the details because I wasn't here when he cooked it and I've just got some broccoli on the side. So this is my dinner and I shall catch you later. Evening, it's five past seven and it feels really late. <laughs> the hour changing really, really does affect me. I don't know why, but um, since I saw you, obviously I recorded some footage at the park. We took Lee into the park and that was nice. And then we came back and we had some of the shepherd's pie that Eddie made yesterday, which it had gone a bit dry, if I'm honest. So I didn't eat all of mine. But then I went to pick you and up from work. And then when I came back, I tried to make, have some more, but I made some gravy to go with it. And it was much better. So I did have another small portion. I'm just now making Eddie and I some crumpets because, like I say, it's seven o'clock. I'm getting peckish. We haven't really eaten properly today at all, but it is obviously like but down with the flu. So we haven't done an awful lot and I'm just feeling tired. So I'm going to make some crumpets and that'll be the end of my day. So I apologise for the short vlog, but nothing really much happening, I'm afraid. Hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to get some more footage. I'm hoping that I'm going to try and go shopping at some point tomorrow. Because we are short on things and I haven't really got anything to make for dinner. I've got some chicken in the freezer, but I'm just going to go and get some shopping. I did get some milk tonight, just to make sure we've got enough for, for drinks and things. But yeah, I'm going to hopefully make some soup tomorrow, I think, and try and get back on track with the old diet. And also, I'll try and record whatever I do for food. Oh, for this vlog. Anyway, I'm going to go. I'm not going to necessarily show you my crumpets because it's just literally a couple of crumpets on a plate. <laughs> Making a nice cup of tea as well. I can't see me being that long out of bed. I have put on my Korean drama that I'm watching. I'm going to, I've just been sitting crocheting. Which is so going because I've been up and downstairs letting Luna out and various other things. So... I haven't got as far as I'd hoped, but I think tomorrow night I might actually be doing crochet with calf, so hopefully I can get 
the borders done on the three that I've done today, tomorrow, and that will just leave three. And then I've got last week's catch up on, and then next week's pattern comes out. This week's pattern comes out on Tuesday. I think there's only one week after this one, is it? What am I doing? I'm doing week three. There's week four that I haven't downloaded, that I haven't printed yet. I feel like it's week five that's coming out. But it's only six week cow, so we're nearly there. Um, there's another cow going on that I want to take part in that has been sending me the, the um, instructions for, which is for these little Rikarumi crochet characters, like ornaments. So I'm excited to, um, to do those as well. But I don't want to start those until after I've got this blanket finished. Anyway, I'm going to go and I shall see you tomorrow for another video. Take care. Bye.